Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see the book of 1 Kings chapters 3 and 4. Chapter 3 After consolidating his rule as king of Israel, Solomon sought to strengthen his political alliances. He formed a marriage alliance with Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, by marrying his daughter. This alliance was a strategic move to maintain peace and foster beneficial relations with neighboring nations. In a display of his commitment to the Lord, Solomon offered sacrifices at the high places in Gibeon. During one of these important worship events, God chose to manifest himself to Solomon in a dream. God said to Solomon, Ask what I shall give you. In awe of the responsibility that came with his kingship, Solomon acknowledged the immense kindness God had shown to his father, David. He emphasized the weightiness of the task of ruling over God's chosen people and the need for wisdom to carry out this sacred duty. Instead of asking for personal gain or riches, Solomon humbly requested wisdom and understanding to govern justly and make wise decisions for the people. Pleased with this unselfish request, God granted Solomon not only wisdom beyond measure but also promised him riches and honor if he remained faithful and obedient to God's ways. Upon awakening from this profound encounter with God, Solomon was filled with gratitude and awe, recognizing the divine favor bestowed upon him. An illustration of Solomon's wisdom came to light when two women presented a baby to him, each claiming to be the child's mother. Solomon proposed to divide the child, intending to reveal the true mother through the response. The real mother immediately expressed her willingness to give up her claim to save the child's life. Solomon, in his discernment, realized the genuine maternal love of the woman and awarded her custody of the child. Chapter 4 Solomon's reign was marked by a period of immense prosperity and wisdom. He skillfully organized his administration, appointing key officials to assist in the governance of the kingdom. Azariah, the son of Zadok, was appointed as the priest, and Zabud, the son of Nathan, served as the king's counselor. In an effort to streamline the distribution of resources and ensure the welfare of his kingdom, Solomon divided the country into twelve districts. Each district was responsible for providing for the king and his household for one month a year. This system efficiently managed the kingdom's provisions and ensured fairness in the distribution of resources. Solomon's wisdom was renowned far and wide, attracting people from neighboring nations who desired to witness and benefit from his unparalleled wisdom. He was known for his extensive knowledge and understanding, composing thousands of proverbs and songs that left an indelible mark on the literature and wisdom of that era. Beyond wisdom, Solomon's reign was characterized by immense wealth and a lavish court. He was a patron of the arts, known for his appreciation of music, poetry, and scholarly pursuits. His prosperity was so vast that it caught the attention of the surrounding nations. In addition to his wisdom in governance and cultural pursuits, Solomon displayed an extraordinary understanding of the natural world. His knowledge of plants and animals further contributed to his reputation for wisdom. People from all corners sought his insights, making his court a hub of intellectual and scholarly activity. Solomon's fame and influence reached distant lands, fostering peace and alliances with neighboring nations. During his reign, Israel experienced an era of tranquility and prosperity, establishing itself as a dominant and peaceful force in the region. These chapters unfold the early reign of Solomon, portraying his quest for wisdom, governance, and prosperity. Solomon's wisdom and the flourishing of his kingdom under his rule attracted people from distant lands, positioning Israel as a prominent and peaceful nation in the ancient world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts of gratitude reflecting on the wisdom and prosperity that marked Solomon's reign as depicted in 1 Kings chapters 3 and 4. We acknowledge that all wisdom and understanding come from you, and we seek to embody the same virtues in our lives. Lord, just as Solomon sought wisdom and discernment to govern your people, we too seek wisdom in our daily lives. Grant us the ability to make wise choices, to discern right from wrong, 
and to govern our affairs with fairness and integrity. In a world filled with complexities and challenges, we ask for your guidance, just as you guided Solomon. Help us organize our lives efficiently and allocate our resources wisely, ensuring the well-being of our families, communities, and nations. Father, like Solomon's renowned court, may our lives be a testimony to your blessings and prosperity. Bless us abundantly, not only for our benefit but so that we may be a blessing to others. May our wealth and prosperity be used for the greater good, reflecting your love and compassion in all our endeavors. Lord, instill in us a hunger for knowledge and a love for learning, much like Solomon's pursuit of wisdom. May we seek understanding in the natural world and strive to comprehend the depth of your creation. As Solomon's influence extended beyond the borders of Israel, we pray that our lives may radiate your light and draw others closer to you. Let us be a beacon of peace and unity, fostering harmony and alliances among people from different backgrounds and nations. In all things, Lord, may your wisdom guide us, and may our lives reflect your grace and favor. Help us to be vessels of your love and compassion in this world. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue with the next chapters of 1 Kings in the next video. Thank you, God bless you.